it's Miss McGurdy, and through the screencast, I'm going to help you start your dilation project. So with the dilation project, obviously, we need to have a picture first. So you need to think of something that you're going to enjoy drawing on a larger piece of paper. So um, in the past, people have used animals, college symbols, especially since it's March Madness at the moment. So um, think about something, and for my example, I am going to look up dogs. But not just, I'm not just going to type in dog because I don't want a photograph. I want something more along the lines of clip art. So it's two dimensional. It's not going to be difficult to duplicate the same picture. So I'm going to look up dog clip art. Now, of course, you're welcome to, ch to challenge yourself, um, but you obviously need to think about your artistic level. And at the end of the day, the most important part is the math behind it. So don't take on something that's going to make you lose sleep or spend far too much time that you really need. So I think these dogs are all cute, of course, but I really like this one on the end. So I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to copy the picture, and I'm going to open Microsoft Word and paste it right in it on the document. From here, I'm going to resize my picture just a little bit. So I'm going to just make him just a little bit larger so he's clearer to see for me. And now what I want to do is go up to the top and click Insert. And what I want to do is insert a table. When I do this, um, you re it really doesn't matter how many cells we choose at the beginning because we'll adjust it later with the picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose something random. Okay, from here I want to right click on my picture and I want to go to the bottom to text wrapping. I want this table to go right on top of the picture so I want to send this behind text so that now my table can go right on top of the picture. That's really important. Okay, here's the, the mathematical part behind the whole drawing. So this is what you may need to replay over in this video a few times. Okay, so what I want to do is right click on my table and I want to go to table properties. What I want to do is put squares all on top of the picture. If you've had art class with Miss Timms, you may have done this project before. In order to recreate our project larger, it's a lot easier to focus in on small squares of the picture, and that makes us all great artists if we can just focus in on a little part of the drawing at the exact same time. And again, we're going to create a scale factor. The first thing I need to do is make sure that my table comes out perfect squares. So I want to go under rows first, and I'm going to specify height. Because my picture is on the smaller side, I'm going to say I want my squares a half an inch. Here's the key part. Not at least, I want this to be exactly 0.5 inches. Then I'm going to go over to column and do the same thing. I want to change this to 0.5 Oops. and click OK. Now I have squares on my table. Now the only thing I need to edit is make sure that this table covers my picture in a really nice way. So I can right click on my table and I can say I need to insert a little bit more. So I'm going to insert some columns to the right and I'm going to do it again until my picture is totally covered. And now um, my dog's not quite in these boxes yet so I'm going to slide them down just a little bit. And we still need some more room on the bottom, so I'm going to right click. This time I'm going to insert rows below. And now my dog is completely inside my grid and I'm good to go. That's what you want to create with your picture. You want to make sure your picture is completely behind the grid. Okay, from here, this is the most difficult part. And it's complete. You need to, and I'll right click again just to double check, when you go back into your table properties, you need to write down the dimensions that you chose. And again, we want squares. So we know that the row and column height and width need to be exactly the same. Write this down on your project rubric. That's really, really important because these are the numbers you're going to need to calculate your scale factor later. Now, if you choose something that's different from mine, that's okay. Everybody is going to calculate their own scale factor, and I'll be more than happy to calculate everybody's individually. Do whatever you think fits your picture the best. You do want smaller squares so that you're not drawing a big part of the picture at once. So as I look at my picture, 
this square, obviously these ones, you know, these two would be blank, but in this square, I'm only going to have to focus in on just that tip of the tail. And that's what helps us scale this drawing larger. At this point, what I want you to do is type your name below your picture so I know whose picture it is. There's lots of geometry classes. So then I want you to write geometry and your class hour, whatever that might be, just so we can put these in the nice piles. Do not print until you raise your hand and I come over and check your drawing so we can talk and make sure it's at an appropriate level for your drawing and that everything looks fine and dandy. So as you're playing around, feel free to replay the video so that you have the steps in line or raise your hand and myself or Mr. H will come around to help you. Um, have fun, choose something that you'll really enjoy, and good luck.